How's everyone doing? This is Havoc Red back with an update on the General's Cry Blade Flurry build. This build has been nuts. What you're viewing right here is a Salacrum Wave 20 that I did with very little complications. Uh, this build's great. I think it's the Berserker Ascendancy just shining. It does, in my opinion, Berserker makes a terrible or mediocre skill just look like a meta, high-class, amazing skill, which is pretty cool and something I might consider in the future when I'm building some other things that are kind of not so great. Overall, I could probably still mid-max this build a little bit further, but I've kind of reached the end of my playtime with the build. I did a lot of the content, mostly everything I was able to do. I was able to do Uber at Ziri, even though I died a couple times, but that's because I'm terrible and don't care about Reflect. I just want to push my head into the wall and kill it. Uh, here's the Breach Lord Maven fight. Yeah, this is the fight that I hated to do the most to all my other characters, and here... I just put my foot down to the pedal and made the health bars disappear. It, I was impressed. That's you know, say I was pretty darn impressed with myself. I can recommend this build to anyone who wants to play it. This build's fun. It's easy to gear up. The necklace and the rings are fairly cheap to either craft or buy yourself, and uh, it could be fairly tanky if you want to build that way. But I built it with just pure damage in mind. This right here is the Augment Reality bosses, which again, I didn't care about mechanics. I just put my head down and killed it. This is the Cortex boss. Uh, I did take a big hit from Cortex and die, mostly because I was just not paying attention. And I, again, all all gas, no brakes, just do all the damage. Mechanics are not, you know, a thing of the of beauty. I even didn't go into blood stance to this because I just forgot. Uh, you're not going to see the death because I accidentally rage stopped recording because I was like, damn it. But whatever, you're going to see the kill and I redid it up. I basically skipped a lot of phases of this. And maybe it was just being annoying. This fight with Maven's just annoying because there's so much crap on the ground. I also rolled with desecrated ground and flaming ground, which is super annoying, but hey, it is what it is. Also, a bottle of faith didn't drop, so big rip to me. Alright, this is the Uber Uber Cortex Cholula fight with Maven, of course. And I died a lot in this fight, to be honest. Like, right here, I just got popped by a flame blast, whatever. I'm coming back in, and I'm just trying to kill Azira as quick as possible. In hindsight, I should probably killed her first and not Cholula, but hey, you live, you learn, and you keep going on softcore. My next death that's coming up right here, don't know what killed me. Something blinked on top of me, and I died. I think it was Cortex. And this next death, I want to call absolute BS. I was trying to stay inside of Elder's ring, and then a Cortex pulled me in, and I died. So, that's cheating. 100% cheating. And there's the uh, the kill. So it's soft course, so who cares if you die? But yeah, it's been a fun build, and... I'm already working on the next build. 
next build is going to be uh, something fun with a fan favorite weapon. I'm already starting to do a little bit of recording of it, and I'll have like a guide of it maybe by next week, early next week. Maybe if I force myself to do work by the end of this week, who knows? But yeah, that is everything. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's kind of crazy that 99% of the people that watch my videos aren't even subbed to me. What gives? Just kidding. Love you guys. Bye.